made in Japan. This is NPN transistor 2N3055 that can handle up to 70 volts and can deliver 15 amperes. And what you can do with this transistor? You can make a battery charger that can deliver or charge the battery with 10 ampere maximum. Ok, let's start today's video project. Before I show you the circuit that I built, I must explain the circuit. It's very simple. It used just few components. And the main is, of course, this N-Pen 2N3055 transistor that can handle up to 70 volts and 15 ampere maximum. And also you will need a LM317 voltage regulate, regulator, 240 ohm resistor that is for the current for the re regulator. And this is 18 kilo ohms resistor for setting up the voltage regulator to 14 volts output. When we have, when we have 14 volts output, we trigger the base of the N-pen transistor on the current of 2N3055 there is input voltage in my case I'm having input voltage from the solar panel remember that the maximum voltage is 40 volts also on pin number 3 of the LM317 we have input voltage from the solar and on the emitter of the and pen transistor we have output of 14 volts this is ground here it is the pinout of the transistor and this is tested and very simple 12 volt battery charger and to charge your battery you will need a 14 volts but this transistor need to be triggered with ex exactly 14 volts delivered from the LM317 voltage regulator because this voltage regulator can handle very high amperes but the N-pen transistor can so we need to control the N-pen the powerful N-pen transistor with the voltage regulator so this is battery charger circuit for 12 volt battery 10 amp maximum Now I'm gonna present you the circuit and how it works. By the way, don't forget the transistor need to be fixed on big heatsink because there will be a heat. I'm gonna use this and also to, to tell you that this is just part one of making my very simple battery charger that will handle up to 10 amps but I'm gonna use around 4 or 5 amperes because I, I can't find 18 kilo ohm resistor I made that value out of two transistors one is 2 kilo ohms and 820 ohm resistor together will give 2.8 kilo ohms this is the for the current resistor of 240 I'm using 270 it's not big deal everything is connected also as a load I'm gonna use this car bulb that is pulling around 1.5 amps okay from the right side I have my homemade digital power supply is set on 18 volts I'm gonna power the circuit right now 18 volts coming in into the circuit and remember that on the N-pen transistor the output pin is the emitter here it is my testing bulb the one probe will go on the negative and the second lead will go on the emitter of the transistor Look, 1.8 amps is pulling 1.8 amps. 
but I need to measure is the voltage correct of 14 volts Thirteen point five. Great. That that is great. Meaning that the circuit is working. This bulb is acting like a like a battery. That means that we are on the right way. I'm gonna disconnect just to check the transistor. It's hot. That's why you need to use the heat sink. Without bulb connected, I'm gonna measure the voltage just to see the voltage output. 13.9 volts. That is great. And you can adjust that voltage with transistor of 18 kilo ohms or let's say 18.2 less or higher okay one more time to connect the bulb yep measure the voltage 30.5 Okay, and on the digital power supply, I'm reading 1.8 amperes. So the transistor is doing a great job. And this is very simple, but very good charger for 12 volt batteries. Still hot. Okay, in this video, which was part one of making the simple 12 volt battery charger using the 2N3055 amp and transistor that is driven by voltage regulator LM317 that is set on 14 volts using 18 kilo ohm resistor and 270 ohm resistor for the current limit. The output voltage from the regulator is directly connected on the base of the transistor. On the collector we have input voltage and on the emitter we have output voltage for the battery charging. That was all for this presentation and as I said we're gonna have part 2 where I'm gonna make the box with the voltmeter and all that stuff. Thank you for watching, give a like, share and subscribe to my channel. See ya!